I am Nick Torres, principal at Polytechnic High School. Graduates, parents, teachers, and friends, greetings. Welcome to the Polytechnic High School 2020 Senior Class Graduation. This is a very special touching uh, occasion. Thank you for joining us as we commemorate our seniors. Today, you will see students recognized for their hard work in achieving their goals in academics at Polytechnic High School. It is my pleasure to acknowledge some very special individuals because they have been critical in the success of students at Poly. First, Ms. Toby Jackson, who represents us at, at the Fort Worth Independent School District Board of Education. Dr. Hernandez, our Executive Director. Our Polytechnic High School Leadership Team, um, which is Ms. Nicole Burkhart, Assistant Principal. Mrs. Precious Poulard, Assistant Principal. Mr. James Sparrow, Assistant Principal. Mr. Ryan Catala, Assistant Principal. Our Lead Counselor, uh, Ms. Jessica Taylor. Mrs. Anderson, our Fine, fine Arts Lead Teacher. Mr. Perry Pettigrew, our lead CTE. Uh, Mr. Josue Cardenas, our lead foreign language. Uh, Mrs. Vicki Robertson, um, our AVID teacher. Ms. Olivia Cowley, our ELA teacher. Um, Mr. Mahin Sierra, our lead math teacher. Um, Mr. Philip Collier, our lead social studies teacher. Mr. Jeff Green, our male athletic coordinator. Mrs. Renita Dotson, our female athletic coordinator. Mrs. Kanitha Mathis, our lead SPED teacher. Mrs. Christy Moore, our data analyst. Mrs. Jessica Hilbert, our science instructional coach. Um, Mrs. Felicia Alba, our social studies instructional coach. Mrs. Mel Strom, our ELA instructional coach. Asia Mitchell, our uh, math instructional coach. Our honor graduates, Bianca Gamez Mahano, our valedictorian, and Ayana Rieger, our salutatorian. I would also like to acknowledge all of the members of our Polytechnic High School faculty and staff. They are dedicated to advancing all students, and today's graduates are evidence of their collective teamwork. Thank you and welcome. Hello, class of 2020. Graduation from high school is a great accomplishment in any year, but especially in 2020. You've probably seen the billboards Fort Worth ISD put up around town congratulating you. They describe you with three words, accomplished, determined, and resilient. Resilience is defined as the ability or skills to recover from misfortune or change. And psychologists say resilience is one of the most important traits you can have for long-term happiness and success. Well, the class of 2020 has a head start on resilience. COVID-19 turned your senior year upside down. It radically changed graduation and separated you from your friends. It even stole your prom. But here's what it did not do and what it could not take. First, your pride for what you've accomplished under very challenging circumstances. Second, the conviction in your heart that you have something to offer this world. And third, this pandemic will not steal the celebration you deserve. Wherever you are right now, I hope you are loud and proud. Know that we are all cheering right along with you, your principals, teachers, coaches, classmates, and of course, your family. Now, it would not be a commencement without a little advice. So quickly, here are little things I promise will add up to big things. First, stay informed. Check in each day to a reputable news source to learn what's going on in the world and in your community. It will broaden your thinking, impress your friends, and prepare you to vote. Vote. Stay close to your role models. Watch how they get things done without losing their humanity. Believe in yourself, even when you fail, especially when you fail. Admit your mistakes, be woman or man enough to apologize, and keep right on moving toward your dreams. 
If you don't remember these things, you'll be fine. You'll learn them on your own because you are resilient. You are the class of 2020. It has been a great privilege to be your superintendent. All of us wish you health, happiness, and success on your next journey, whether as a college student, a new employee, or a brand new recruit in the military. We love you. God bless. It is an honor to extend a huge thank you to the support system of our 2020 graduates, to each of our teachers, ancillary staff, families, those supporting friends, and of course the parents. It has been amazing to watch the 2020 graduates matriculate to graduation. Congratulations, class of 2020, and to move you forward with 2020 vision, here are Plato's four cardinal virtues, moderation, justice, courage, and wisdom. 2020, we are so very proud of you, and we'll see you on the other side. Remember, we're here for you in good times and bad, but now you have the skill set to go change the world. So what are you going to do? Go change the world. Howdy, Fort Worth ISD, and congratulations to the brave and courageous class of 2020. I am proud of you. I am extremely happy to share with you that today, you bring honor to our community. You bring honor to our community, not because of the innovations that you will bring to us in the future, but we are proud of you today because you have reached such an important day by graduating from high school. Forward ISD, I am happy to be your commencement speaker. My name is Jose Luis Celaya. I am originally from San Pedro Sula, Honduras. And I have experienced the power of higher education in a tremendous way. You see, I'm also a father, a father of Amaris Josie, who is about to turn nine months old. But as I think about this concept of education, one thing I know, and that is that education is power, that education has the ability to be able to transform our communities and to be able to bring a sense of hope that our families for a very long time desperately have pursued. And I applaud you for reaching such an incredible point in life. Many of you thought about dropping out. Many of you thought that it was going to be difficult graduating from high school. But today, today you make us proud. Many of you are first generation college students and you have instilled, you have put in your, your soul and your mind into a process that you think would change your life. We are currently living a very difficult time, a time where anxiety, where depression or fear is hitting many of us and affecting our mental well-being. But the reality is, is that you were not born in the wrong time. The reality is, is that you were born in the right time to be able to bring solutions to the problems that nobody in the world currently knows. You were born to be able to bring solutions to the major problems that our communities are facing. You were born in the right time. So I congratulate you. We are proud of you because by reaching high school graduation, you share with the world, you share with your community that you believe in a set of values that pursuing education will create opportunities for your family, that will create a roadmap for your future generations to come. Today, we are proud of you because by reaching this point, you have proven to our society that you are resilient, that despite the circumstances, that despite the obstacles of the challenges, that in the middle of the ashes, you should rise. We are proud because of your grit, because whenever people told you you were not going to be able to do it, because when the resources lack, or whenever you had to make a decision whether going to work or going to school, you made the right decision by going to school, we are proud of you because of your ganas, because of your desire to succeed. Today, today we're proud of you. We're proud of you for graduating from high school, for being the courageous class of 2020. But let's be fair, let's be honest. The reality is, is that this great achievement does not come on its own. Many people told me that my percentage of graduating from college were almost zero. And many of them were correct, because alone, alone you can't. But as a community, as a community you can't. You see, 
I was born in the very humble city of San Pedro Sula, Honduras, which has been considered one of the most dangerous places on earth. There I experienced poverty from a very difficult perspective where I lost my little brother because we didn't have money to take him to a hospital. But to you, to you who want to go into the medical field, to you who want to become a nurse and be able to bring health and safety to our community, you inspire me. You bring hope to my life. You see, I experienced violence from a very young age. I experienced Hurricane Mitch in year 1998, which forced my mother and I to be separated after she had to migrate to the United States, to Houston, to a shelter. I lived in Honduras as a street child for almost two years, at which time I became victim of gang violence and ended up migrating to the United States as an unaccompanied minor in hopes of reunifying with my family. You see, I was not born in a golden crib, but I understand that an education can change your life. I understand that pursuing an education can completely create a generational impact. And because you have reached this point, I congratulate you and I honor you. You see, I migrated to the United States and I didn't know a word of English. Not only did I become the first one in my family to graduate from high school, but I pursued an associate's degree at a community college. It was educators who empowered me and told me that my past did not define my future. It was seeing the sacrifices of my parents that put in me a desire to one day tell my mother, you no longer have to work. Education provided me a sense of hope. It provided me a sense of empowerment. It provided me a sense that if I could graduate from college, that I would change the lives of my family, the lives of the people I love the most. I transferred to Texas A&M University, where I completed a bachelor's in math and science. I then completed a master's in English as a second language, and I just recently completed a PhD in urban education. The way that my future generations get to be raised is very different because education provides me a platform to be able to bring hope to our communities in this very difficult time. But today, today it's about you. And education gives you a pen in which you can rewrite your own story. For those of you who are going to go to the armed forces and to fight for the safety of our communities, I thank you. For those of you who are going into the medical field, for those of you who are going into education, for those of you who are going to help your parents run your own business, for those of you who are going to college, for those of you who put their hopes in education, I salute you and I respect you. And education is going to change your life. And today, today, my main message to you, it's this. We are the sacrifices of our parents. We are the advices of our teachers. We are the empowerment of our community. And education, education is hope. Congratulations, class of 2020. You make us proud. Congratulations, Forward Independent School District. Congratulations, scholars. Congratulations, familia. Congratulations, community. We did it. Today is a day of honor. Today is a day of victory. Today, we gain educator scholars who will continue to find solutions to the problems that our community needs the most. So once again, it has been my great privilege to address you, to share with you the power of higher education, and to remind you that education will create a generational impact. Once again, congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations. Forward ISD. From now on, these eyes will not be blinded by the lights. And from now on, let's wait until tomorrow starts tonight. It's so nice. And let this promise in me start.
I was thinking about how I wanted to start at this speech. A part of me wanted to start off by telling you about all of my accomplishments and how this moment is a big deal. I also thought to talk about all the parties I missed, all the extra homework. But then I came up with the perfect starter because this day isn't just about me. It's about all of my fellow classmates. I'm sure we all can agree that this day has been a long time coming. This has been a journey that has thrown many obstacles and variables into our school year that some may wonder how we made it. But here we are graduating class of 2020. These last four years have taught some valuable lessons and I believe a lesson learned should be a lesson shared. I learned don't overwork yourself and never lose sight of what's important. Although it may sound like something you see on a t-shirt, I believe you should live, laugh, and learn and have fun while making mistakes. I live without regrets. Find your own path and don't be afraid to walk it. Elementary was a breeze and middle school and high school was like a hurricane. But even when faced with all these storms, I learned storms never last. But through these storms, I had a lot of help and guidance. For me, my elementary and middle school teachers and administrators who encouraged me to tap into my potential my high school coaches and teachers who challenged me, to Officer Garrett who has watched me grow and just like my family, restored my faith in myself when I lost it. Ms. Lee who always had the snacks and a place to nap for those hard days. And the ladies in the office who put smiles on everyone's faces. Although we didn't get to have a regular senior year like other classes, no prom, no track season, no varsity sports banquet, but who knew when we got out for spring break that we would endure so much for the remainder of our senior year. Class of 2020 is legendary. Class of 2020 is the last best class. Hi, class of 2020. At this time, I wanna congratulate you that we finally made it. I believe I can speak for all of us that our senior year has taken an unexpected turn. After all these years, we anticipated the final year to be the best. However, due to the certain pandemic situation we all know about, we have lost many moments that we could have created. Although our school years have been tough times, times we wish we wouldn't remember, and we've lost moments we may never get back, I remind you to hold on. Although we may reminisce about these terrible losses, we have to see the brighter picture. After having the same routine our whole life, of sitting in a classroom, we finally come to an end of a long race. We are finally taking a step into the real world, a new chapter in our lives. Now to all the family, friends, and school staff that has helped us persevere, thank you. But most importantly, I want to thank God that without his mercy and grace, we wouldn't have reached this far. We are all about to begin a new journey, one where we'll make into an one where we'll make decisions into the unknown. So whatever lies ahead, let us remember and be glad that we've made it this far. Now it's our turn to pave the path in our lives, never giving up on the dreams we set out. Once again, thank you, Class of 2020. Bianca Anahi Gomez Mahano. I'm thankful to God that I've finally made it this far, and I'm thankful that my family's been there thus far as well. And shout out to my sister who's been there as a cheerleader for me. Ayana Nicole Mazea Rieger. I'd like to say that I'm going to Texas Women's in the fall to study nursing, and I'd like to thank Ms. Lee. Adrian Acosta. Uh, I just want to thank my parents and friends that always push me to the end, to my best. Okay. Yeah. Alexis Martin Acosta. I want to thank my parents for, for helping me out, get through the school year. I want to thank God. Hugo Armando Acosta. I'd like to give a big thanks to all my friends throughout the years that gave me great memories. I'd like to give a special thanks to Ms. Anderson, the best teacher at this school. She supported me throughout my four years. Jasmine Guadalupe Aguilar. 
I like to thank my parents for always pushing me to do my best throughout high school and for being there for me when I needed them. Lizbeth Aguilar. I would like to thank my friends, my family, and my teachers and Mr. Duarte for supporting me. Vanessa Aguilar. I would like to thank my mom, my dad, my sisters, um, my teachers that push me every day to do better because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be right here. Josue Manuel Aguilar Estrada. Uh, my name is Josue Aguilar Estrada. I'm pretty excited to graduate from Polytechnic High School and I'm ready to begin my new chapter in life. Miguel Angel Aguirre. I, I'm grateful for my mom and my dad for supporting me through this my whole life and getting me to this point. Brisa Juliana Almeida. I want to thank my teachers, Duarte, the band, and all of my supportive friends. Next year, I'm planning to attend Texas A&M. Marvin Alexis Alonso. Um, I would like to thank my mom and my grandma for helping me out um, to get through the tough time. Lisette Alvarado. Quiero agradecerle a mis padres por su esfuerzo, and I also want to thank uh, Mr. Hernandez and Ms. Stroud for all the help in the goal center. Armando X. Andrade. I want to thank Chambers and Autotech for always being on me and uh, helping me with my classes. Eddie Andrade. I want to thank all the Polytechnic staff for helping me graduate. Angelica Sophia Angel. Uh, I want to thank my grandparents because if it wasn't for them, my whole family wouldn't be here. Brian Angel. I'm going to Texas Western in the fall, and I just want to thank my friends, my family, and my teachers for helping me along in this journey. Oweman Antoinette. I want to thank my teachers and my parents for what they did for me. Like they supported me when I when I, I needed support the most. Stephanie X Arambola. Thank you to my parents on to believe on me. Maria Belen Ariano Guzman. Esto es para mi mamá y para mi papá. Es para ustedes. Uh, por fin lo hice. Muchas gracias por todo, por estar conmigo a todo momento. Jonathan Argueta. Sergio Argueta. Joani Aragin. I want to thank my parents, my teachers for supporting me, and uh, proud to finally be graduating. Oak Class of 2020. Yahaira Aviles. Uh, my plans after graduation are joining the Army and after joining the Police Academy, and I want to thank my parents for being my biggest supporter. Sara Rosario Baez. And I want to say thank you to my family and friends for help, for supporting me throughout this long journey. Zawadi Balamona. Hey, I want to thank my family. I want to thank our school. I, I finished this year. I finished this year on time. Brenda Jasmine Barajas. Most likely, I would like to thank my parents because without them, I'll be nothing. And my teachers, they were all awesome. I had fun with them while it lasted. Cynthia Barboza. I would like to thank all the teachers who worked hard and muchas gracias a mis papás que siempre me apoyaron. Kevin Barboza. Jose Ernesto Benitez. I want to thank my mom, my dad, my friends, 
the school for helping me throughout this whole 12 years of, of school. Gemma Sarai Barumentoka. Eh, quiero agradecer a mis tíos que siempre estuvieron para mí y a mis papás que también siempre me apoyaron y a Mr. Duarte que también siempre estuvo ayudándome. Gracias. Dorcas Pisisi. And words alone cannot express how grateful and thankful that I am for everybody that has been with me throughout this journey. Alia Antoinette Bolden. Seth Anthony Branham. I'd just like to thank all my teachers and uh, parents for supporting me through this time and helping me get through school. Alondra Y. Bravo. I would like to thank my family, my teachers, Mr. Williams, and a special thank you to Ms. Burkhart and Mr. Duarte. Tamia Brookins. Micah K. Brown. I want to thank my mom for pushing me so hard to get me to where I'm at right now. Samantha Isabel Cabello. I'm thankful for my mom. And I would like, uh, after I graduate from school, I'll go to TCC and then transfer to UTA. Guadalupe Camarena. I want to thank my parents for always pushing me and my teachers for always pushing me as well. And shout out for Ms. Randall for always being there. Jennifer Carbajal. Um, and I'm excited. I'm a graduate and I'm class of 2020. And I'm thankful for my teachers, but most important to my parents. Manuel Antonio Carrasco Perez. Gracias, mamá, por todo lo que me ha apoyado en todo corazón, en mi familia. Juan Manuel Carrillo. I want to thank everybody that pushed me to where I am now, and I want to thank my parents. Nayeli Lisette Carrillo Portillo. I would like to thank my friends and family for supporting me on this journey. Guadalupe Giselle Castaneda. Janeth Castillo Camacho. Quiero darle gracias a mis padres que me apoyaron y me siguen apoyando. Quiero darle gracias a mis maestros que me sacaron adelante. Ivan A. Cerda. Julian Paul Chambers. I'm graduating the class of 2020, and um, I'm a community scholar at TCU, and I plan on uh, majoring in business. Nico Miguel Chandler. And I want to thank my family and also my teachers for helping me succeed. Antonio Chavez. I want to thank everybody and like for getting me here, the experiences that I made in school, and just thank my parents and everything for the support people have made. Manny Chetri. I want to thank my parents, my teachers, everybody at school for helping me stay motivated and stay graduated. Thank you. Stephanie Conscious. I am very grateful for my parents who have pushed me throughout this whole journey and thanks to everyone. Dominic Alexander Contreras. Thank you, my friends and family, for everything, and I hope we can all do better. Jose Jesse Costilla. And one of the best memories that I have is, I mean, maybe in the soccer season, when we scored a, what was it, like a last-minute winner against Everman. Ramon Covarrubias. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad, and what graduated from me to me is the start of a new beginning. Javante and Crenshaw. I thank everybody for yeah, pushing me through this. And thank you, Mama and Daddy. I love y'all. 
Gerardo Adolfo Cruz. I would like to thank to all of my friends and family that have supported me through my journey. Senior year has been a great experience. Angel Alberto Cruz Hernandez. I'd like to thank God, first of all, for letting us be here today. I'd like to thank my mom. Gracias, Jevita, por lidiar con mi desmadre. Jose Antonio de Luna. Y ama y apa, muchas gracias. Estas para ustedes. Jesus S. Delgado. I want to thank my parents, my teachers, for all of the all of the things they've done for me. Jose Angel Dominguez. I would like to thank my parents, my friends, the teachers here pushing me. And yeah, you know, let's go class of 2020. Yeah, all right. Kevin Douglas. I want to shout out to my family and everybody who supported me through these four years. I'm headed to Tarleton State University and class of 2020, we made it. Daisy Bernice Duenas. I want to thank my family and, you know, my teachers. Um, I hope I get to see um, some of y'all in the future. Jose C. Espinosa. Uh, the best thing I remember about Polly was me hanging out with all my friends and making new friends each year. Carlos E. Estrada. I want to thank my family, Ms. Quick, Mr. Collier, Mr. Cowan, and Ms. Johnson for always supporting me. Roberto Estrada. My name is Roberto Estrada. I want to thank all my family and friends for helping me graduate and helping me become the person I am today. Jose Manuel Fletas Rivas. I would like to thank my mother for the great effort to helping me with school and everything I'm myself too. Emmanuel Flores. So I wanted to thank everyone that helped me out going through school, my parents, my, um, the teachers, the students, my friends and family. Jacqueline Flores. Um, I would like to thank my teachers and coaches and family for supporting me in my future. Kylie Renee Flores. All right, hi, Mom and Dad and the rest of my family. I just want to say thank you for pushing me and, like, making me work my hardest. Victor A. Flores. Adriana Garcia. I want to thank my family for never leaving my side throughout these four years of high school. Anayeli Garcia. I want to thank all my family and friends for supporting me in everything that I do. Audrey Garcia. I just wanted to say thank you to my parents and friends and Ms. Anderson and a huge thank you to my grandpa. Even though he's not here with us right now, he was a big impact in my life. Diana I. Garcia. Nayeli A. Garcia. I would like to thank my family for giving me the love and support. Veronica Garcia. Uh, I'd like to thank my mom and my cousins for supporting me and my decisions and um, pushing me through high school, even though I wanted to give up at times. Bessie Daniela Garcia Cabrera. And I'm going to give you a thanks to all my teachers, especially Ms. Quake and my JRTC instructors. And also, gracias a mi mamá por siempre estar conmigo y apoyarme en todo. Te amo, mamá. Elia Patricia Garcia Friday. Uh, I want to thank to all my, my teachers who support me and give me strength to keep going. And I also want to thank to my mom and dad. Joanna N. Godinez. I'm proud to be a parent from Polly. I'd like to say thank you to my teachers, especially Ms. Randall and Professor Reimer for always believing in me. Carlos Gabriel Gomez. 
anything is possible. Uh, when I was little, they always told me that I wasn't going to be nothing in, in when I grow up. But look at me now. I'm a 2020 graduate. Yasmin Gomez. I'd like to thank um, my mom, my dad, um, my family. I love them so much. Uh, I'd like to thank my friends, my teachers for making this come true. Joab S. Gonzalez. And I want to thank my teachers and, okay. and family. After high school, I'm going to just probably just go work. Alejandro Gonzalez. Hi, my name is Alejandro Gonzalez, and I want to thank my family for encouraging me to get through high school and always do my best. Ricardo Emanuel Gonzalez. Hi, my name is Ricardo Gonzalez. I'm a 2020 Polytechnic High School graduate. I just want to thank my parents and my loved ones for their support throughout the journey. It's been an amazing journey. Sandra Gonzalez. I would like to thank my parents for always being there for me. Israel Gonzalez Zendejas. Anthony Isaiah Grant Lacrosse. I plan on going to TSTC for um, computer programming and give a special thanks to my family. Daryl Glenn Greer. I would like to thank my parents for keeping me motivated. Uh, when I graduate, I'm going to be attending Sura State University. Arleth Gordado. Um, I'm proud of myself, and I hope I make all my family proud. And I also want to thank Ms. Robertson for always helping me throughout my whole high school year. Anayeli Guzman Orozco. Y quiero decirles a mis maestros, gracias por hacer este sueño posible, por ayudarme. Brianna Chantel Hardy. Okay, I'd like to thank my mom, my grandma, and my counselor, Ms. McMillan. Those two believed in me, and um, they believed I can do it. Araceli Aros. I would like to thank my friends, uh, my teachers, my parents. They sacrificed so much for me to be here. And even though we had ups and downs, I, I made it. Cynthia Aros. Okay. I want to thank all my family and my friends that helped me out throughout this year. And, um, and my parents are still go to, to, to TCC next year. Janaria Sherelle Haywood. I want to thank Ms. Burkhardt, Ms. Randall, Coach Lacey, and all the rest of the teachers at Poly High School. And I want to thank my parents and my family. Edwin H. Hernandez. In the fall, I think I'm going to be an electrician. Jose Luis Hernandez. I'd like to thank my parents for keeping me into school and always keeping up, like telling me to go to school. Marisol Hernandez. I would like to thank Ms. Brazelton for helping me with these four years. I would also like to thank my parents and family. And I just want to say I did this for you, Jusio, and I'm happy to graduate. Woo! Norman O. Hernandez. Roberto Hernandez. So I want to give a thank you to my parents for keeping me on track. And my teachers that helped me get to the spot that I am now. Nuri Giseli Hernandez Martinez. I am glad to be part of 2020 Senior Year and I'm thankful we got my family and friends. Sebastian Hernandez Navarez. I'd like to thank especially my parents and Mr. Saucier for getting me through, for teaching me valuable lessons. Uh, thank you, Mr. Torres. Thank you, everybody. Congratulations, every graduate 2020. Tanya Herrera. Andrew Elias Hollins. Message of to my family be like supporting me all this journey of this 
past couple of years helping me go through what I had to go through. Isaiah Markle Hunter. I just want to thank all my teachers, Mr. Torres, for getting me through the school year. Next year, I'm going to be going to London, going to Gemological Institute of America Jewelry School. Saad Abdirahman Hussein. Uh, I would like to thank my parents and my teachers for all for supporting me. Juan Carlos Ibarra. I would like to thank my friends and family that helped me get through my high school career. Solange Irunkunda. I want to thank all my teachers for everything they did for me. And then I want to thank my mom for everything she did. Without her, I'll not be here to graduate right now. Luis A. Jaime. I'm thankful for my family and parents for believing in me and always giving me their love and support. I'm Derek Javon James. I want to thank all the teachers who believed in me, all my coaches, my mama, everybody who believed in me, class of 2020. Thank you. I'm blessed. India Simone Johnson. I'd like to say I'd like to thank my principal and my teachers for helping me succeed into going to college. I'll be going to college at Grambling State University where I'll be studying nursing. Nianzima Kanyamanza. Thanks for my teachers for helping me through my IGC. And I could like to, help my, to thank my family. Speranza Christine Kelly. I'd like to thank my dad. And most importantly, my girlfriend and my family, my brother, my mom, and my grandma. Dariana Marcellus Latson. I want to thank my mom and my teachers for me for, for pushing me. And when I when I graduate, I want to travel the world and take pictures. Armando Ledesma. Uh, the person I admire is Miss Quick because she's trying to keep me motivated for uh, the future. Noah Isaac Leos. Jose Luis Lerma. I'm grateful for my parents, my brothers, my sisters, and the school staff members. Uh, I want to thank them for everything they taught me throughout the years, and I'm very grateful. Thank you. Karina Lerma. I'll be studying, teaching, and I want to thank my parents for always believing in me and pushing me. Kevin Enrique Lira. Mario Reynaldo Lomeli Chavira. I like to thank my family, especially my mother, because she teach me how to work hard in life. And Joshua Longino. Andrea Lopez. I wanted to give a shout out to all my coaches and the docs. After high school, I'm going to college. I'm going to go to UTA and study kinesiology. Cynthia Faviola Lopez. Some people that inspired me to graduate are my family, my parents, and Mr. Duarte. Ivan Samuel Lopez. I want to thank my parents and my teachers uh, for helping me in school and everything. Lillian H. Lopez. I want to say thank you to all my family and friends and especially to Coach Visco for being the best coach. Thank you. Dylan Lopez Castillo. I just want to thank my family for helping me out in like school, you know, and I want to thank all my teachers. Katie Mariela Lopez Gomez. Quiero decir que muchas gracias a mi mamá por todo lo que ha hecho por mí. Y I want to thank Miss Alma Teacher, especially Miss Quick and Dr. Burr. Estefani Lopez Varela. And I am planning to attend to UTA for nursing. 
Uh, le quiero dar las gracias a mi mamá por apoyarme en todo y por siempre estar ahí conmigo. Crystal Janet Lozano. I am thankful for my parents for supporting me these last four years of high school. Raul Luna. Que voila! Yolanda Luna. I would like to thank my parents, especially my brothers, for always pushing me forward. Ariadna Guadalupe Maldonado Ariaga. I think I'm going to go to Johnson & Wales because I got a scholarship for $11,000. My parents and teachers and helping me through all these years. Paola Michelle Maldonado Ortiz. Angelica Martinez. Angeline Vanessa Martinez. I would like to go ahead and thank my parents for keeping me up with school. And I would like to thank my teachers for keeping me up with my credits and making sure I graduate. Cody Matthew Martinez. After the school year, I just want to give special thanks to all of my friends and my family for believing me and, you know, making this happen. Edgar Martinez. Uh, I want to thank both my parents, my brother, my sister-in-law, my sister and my brother-in-law, and my teachers for everything they've done for me. Francisco Martinez. I would like to uh, congratulate my parents, my teachers, that made me go through this. Guadalupe Aileen Martinez. I would like to thank my parents for always believing me and I would also like to thank my friends for all the memories we created. Jay Del Carmen Martinez. Te quiero agradecer a mis papás por siempre estar conmigo en cualquier momento de mi vida. Los quiero mucho. And I'm going to join T this fall. Jacqueline Martinez. And I want to thank all my teachers and my family for supporting me on this journey. Vincent Fernando Martinez. I want to thank my teachers and all the staff at Polytechnic High School for guiding me through the year and leading me to success. Gerardo Martinez Barron. Shukrani Masimango. I just want to say thank you to my family, friends, and teachers to support me since, the, uh, since my freshman year to senior. And then I'm planning to go to college, and I'm happy with that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Guillermo Maturino Sanchez. I'm very excited to be graduate, finally, <laughs> to be graduate. So, so I want to say thanks to my mom and my dad, and especially my brother. Adan Enrique Mayo Prieto. And I wanted to thank my friends and family and the teachers that motivated me to do my best in high school. Christelle Mbita. As for this year, I will be going to MSU, Midwestern, Midwestern State, for nursing with a scholarship uh, for more spirited. Jamal McGilvery. I wanted to thank my mom for supporting me, my family, my friends, my teachers, and my principal, Ms. Burkhardt. Thank you. Ruby Alia Medina. I'd like to thank Ms. McLean, Mr. Osiaman, and Mr. Davis for a wonderful year in Polytechnic High School. Christian Isaiah Mendoza. Elena Montserrat Meraz. I thank my family and my teachers from Poly for being um, helpful to me. Marco A. Mercado. Lawrence Edward Milligan. I nominate the counselors and whoever else helped me succeed through the high school year. 
Damien Eduardo Molina. Ruben Antonio Montero Cotto. Eduardo Montoya. I am thankful for my parents and my girlfriend for, help, for giving me their support and love to help me get through this. Aaron Mora. I would like to thank my mom, my dad, my older brother for all the support they gave to me. Armando Mora. I start to say by thanking Mr. Perez for getting me into the program. Well, he gave me the program, but he basically got me into what I'm going to do, which is in college, which is film. Jessica J. Mora. Andrew Morales. I want to thank my mom and my dad for pushing me forward to do this. I also want to thank my grandparents. They always were on me to finish school. Elizabeth Morales. Jasmine Yvette Morales. I want to thank my parents and my teachers for helping me get through the school year and for always motivating me to keep going. Maria Balen Morales Espinosa. Las personas que me inspiraron fueron mi, mi mamá, mi papá y mi hermano mayor. En la escuela me inspiró mi squeak a, a pasar todas mis clases. Gabriela Moreno. And I would just like to thank my family and my best friend for the support throughout these four years, and I made it. Samuel Moreno Aguado. Daniela Morfin. Okay, um, I just want to thank all my teachers. Um, the poly staff is amazing. I love you, Miss Anderson, Dr. Bird, Ryan Moran, I'm going to miss you so much. Um, the people at Wesley A. Alexa I. Munoz. Fabian Munoz. I would like to thank my family, my friends, my close ones, Mr. Barnes. I would like to thank also my principal, Mr. Torres, for, for helping me through. Mogisha Dahirewe. I want to just want to support my family, my teacher, you know, for helping me in this journey to life. It was a long time, it was a long journey to graduate. Constance I. Nelson. Senior year has been the most craziest and wonderful senior year I have ever had. I I thank all of my teachers that have helped me through this whole year. Francisco Jareth Navarez Caldera. I'm just glad I'm graduating, and after graduation, you know, we all got to get this this money. So, uh, step y'all game, game up. Nilcia Osiguera. Maria D. Olalde. Y quiero agradecerle a mis padres y a mi familia por ayudarme a llegar al lugar que estoy ahorita. Andres Rafael Olalde Sarabia. Leslie Jacqueline Ortega. Nomás quiero agradecer a mis padres y a los maestros que me ayudaron durante el año. Y me apoyaron. Katy Juliet Ortega Moreno. Ay, me gustaría agradecer a mi mamá por inspirarme y que me empujó a hacer todo mi trabajo para graduarme. Eric Ortiz. And I want to thank my mom. Uh, I want to thank my sister. This time I want to thank my family for, you know, believing in me. Nautica Zoraida Saige Ozuna. Daniel A. Para. Uh, I'd like to thank all my family for giving me the support I needed to focus on school and all my friends who gave me some pretty good memories. And Jorge Adan Pena. 
Yareli Perales. I would like to thank my parents for all the sacrifices they have made for this day to come true. I would also like to thank my, my family and friends and teachers. Jim A. Perez. I'd like to thank all my teachers and my mom. Joseph Perez. The one who inspired me was my mom, my dad, my family, and Mr. Torres to graduate. Luis Fernando Perez. Mark A. Perez. Crista Lucero Perez Garcia. Abraham Perez Zarate. Leonardo D. Peseno. Betsabeth Gabriela Prieto. I want to thank my friends and family for always supporting me and pushing me to go to high school and graduate. I also want to thank Duarte for helping me throughout these four years. And I'll Alfredo Puga. Um, I want to thank my family, my teachers, for always staying on task on me when I couldn't. And um, what I like about senior year was homecoming. Jose Manuel Quezada. Julian Ramon Quintanilla. I would like to thank my family for always pushing me to succeed, and I'm going to go to Wesleyan to study psychology. Jose Angel Quintero. I want to thank mainly my parents uh, because they were my experience. Well, my motivation to graduate. Uh. Enrique Quintero Alcala. I thank everybody from Poly that told me to graduate. And the next thing I'm going to do after high school, probably go to college. Brianna Ramirez. I want to thank Katala, my teachers, Mr. Duarte, my family. Jesus Alejandro Ramirez. I want to thank my mom and all my teachers who supported me. Um, in the future, I'm planning to play soccer for Northeast College. Jordi Ramirez. Lisandro Ramirez. Sergio Alfonso Ramirez. I want to give a special thank you to all the teach all my teachers and Upper Bound program for helping me get through get through this uh, these four years. At Leslie America Ramos Perez. So, le quiero dar las gracias a mi mamá, a mi papá. Christian Simone Ray. I want to thank my mom and my teachers from Poly for helping me throughout my four years here. And in the fall, I'm attending Texas State University. Gladys Cecilia Redrujo. My favorite memory was spending time with the English teacher, Mr. McDonald. He made it coming here worth it. And shout out to him. Kendrick Renfro. I like to give a shout out to all the teachers that helped me graduate and my mom and dad for helping me and keeping me strong throughout the year. Brandon Michael Reyes. Jose Andres Reyes. I'd like to um, give a, a thank you to um, Colonel and Mr. Reimer for inspiring me to join the military. Brian A. Reynoso. I want to thank Miss Merle, my art teacher, uh, Miss Quick, Alasia Robinson. I want to thank my mom and my dad for encouraging me to finish school and my counselors. Hora Misai Rodriguez. I'd like to thank my uh, my girlfriend Andrea 
also my parents and uh, a lot of the teachers here at Poly that have helped me throughout my years. Yaire Rodriguez, Ulysses Rodriguez Barragan, Paula Matias Rodriguez Castaneda. What I plan to do after graduation is go to TCC and people that inspired me is my mother and my father. Aranza Su Rodriguez Navarro. And I want to thank my parents that came into this country without anything and managed to give me everything for me to be here today. Manuel Rojero. Melanie Rojero. First, I would like to thank God for allowing me to be here today and my friends and family for supporting me. Ana Michelle Romero Gonzalez. Estoy muy agradecida con mi familia, con los maestros y todo el plantel de la escuela. Ivan Rosales. Jocelyn Rosales. Les le quiero dar las gracias a mis padres y a toda mi familia que me apoyaron y a mis maestros que me ayudaron, me ayudaron durante el año. Maria F. Rosales Reyes. Alejandro Ruiz. Santos Salas. Valeria Nicole Salas. I want to thank my parents and my best friend for all the help and support that I got throughout the year. Class 2020, I'm out, and good luck. Thank you. Alexandra Lee Salazar. I want to thank everybody who supported me through my senior year, all the teachers and my parents. Javier Alejandro Salgada Saldana. And I just wanted to say that I'm thankful for the opportunities that my teachers and mentors gave me at Polytechnic High School. Angel Ray Sanchez. Uh, my name is Angel Sanchez and uh, stay righteous. Jennifer Sanchez. I just wanted to thank my parents for always believing in me and pushing me to be the best person. I also want to thank my friends for always being there for me and supporting me through the, uh, these four years of high school. Guadalupe M. Santa Cruz. I'm thanking my parents for all the support and what they can bring up to the table and um, traveling for the rest of my life, I guess. <laughs> Juan Antonio Santana. And the people that inspired me was my big brother and my mom, because, I mean, without them, I wouldn't be here. Lauren Nicole Scott. And I would like to say congratulations to all the seniors and thank you. <laughs> Javon Jamar Sewell. I'm Javon Sewell, and my message to y'all is I'm just, I'm a star, I'm just sitting in a low light. Trinity Renee Shores. I want to thank my teachers, Ms. Robertson and Ms. Randall, for supporting me and my family. Yamileth Sigala. I want to thank my family, my cousins, and I plan to go to TCC for two years. Natalie Silverio. Cameron Earl Simpson. I would like to thank God, my teachers, and my parents for helping me get through high school. Jada Sharda Smith. I'm thankful for my counselors and teachers, and I'm going to go to TCC College to do culinary arts, and I'm going to be the best chef ever. Keenan Tremaine Smith. Huge shout out to my family. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't make it. But thank God I made it and I did it. Miguel Anthony Smith. Miracle Louise Thomas. 
I want to thank my mom for helping me get to this point in my life. Akela Diane Taylor. The best thing about Polly to me was the cheer team. And who inspired me was my grandmother. Jamesia Monet Thompson. And I would like to say thanks to my family, my friends, and my teachers for the support. And, you know, go Polly. Woo, class 2020. Leslie Janeth Tonchi Martinez. My name is Leslie Tonche, and I want to give a huge thank to all my teachers and hope every senior their best in their next journey. Isaac Torres. I just want to thank uh, my, whole, my whole family, teachers and friends, and the band and mariachi for being there, letting me be a part of them. Thank you, class of 2020. Ashley Natali Tovar. Isela Valdez. And I would like to thank my teachers for all the support. And I would like to thank my family for the support and all the encouragement they give me. Jocelyn Valdez. I would like to thank my family for pushing me and supporting me and making the decisions I want to do. Ricardo Valenzuela. Patricia Vasquez. I'm excited to be graduating 2020. Thanks to my family, all my teachers and friends for pushing me to be able to complete this journey. Sol Ventura Placencia. As of 2020, we did it. Esmeralda Vera. I just like to thank my family and friends and all the teachers that pushed me to keep going. Gonzalo Verdin. I'd just like to thank all the staff, my teachers especially, staff instructors from JRTC. They definitely helped me motivate to get here. Nolvia Mariela Villanueva Calderon. And I want to thank all my teachers. Hilda S. Viegas. Raven Rudortha Waits. I'm a graduating senior at Polytechnic High School, and in the fall, I plan to attend U the University of North Texas and major in psychology. Delicia Lorraine Ann Webster. My message is, don't chase dreams, just set goals and achieve them. Travion Donnell White. Polly has been one of the biggest parts of my life. Uh, the staff, the teachers, they've all been pretty motivational. Aliyah Renee Wilburn. I'm a 2020 graduate. I would like to thank God for all my accomplishments and give a shout out to Mr. Barnes and my family. Jeremy Monte Williams. I'd like to thank all my teachers and coaches for helping me throughout my years, and in fall, I'll be attending Tarleton for an undeclared business degree. Adam Tracy Woods. This fall, I will be graduate. I'll be graduating to Tarleton State University. I'll be playing football. I like to thank all my coaches and my teachers, and I'm ready to leave. Mitzi Janeth Zamaripa Murillo. I will be going to TCC to become an RN. I want to say thank you to my parents for giving me everything and coming to this country with nothing. I want to say thank you to my family and to my boyfriend for always being there. I love y'all. Brianna Melissa Zamaron. And I just want to thank my mom and my dad for inspiring me to finish high school. And I want to thank all my teachers for supporting me. Jasmine Zamora. I'd like to thank my parents and my sisters for helping me pass because without them, I probably wouldn't have passed at all. Uh, my teachers, like especially Osiyama, because I probably wasn't going to pass if he hadn't passed me. Evelyn Paulina Zararaz Garcia. Janet Zendejas. And I want to thank my mom and my dad for always pushing me forward to graduate and all the support. 
For each of these students, the high school experience has brought some challenges, some pitfalls, some struggles. The last 11 weeks of school were especially taxing because these students were not able to attend school physically due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Students, you adapted. You became self-starters. You mastered online and virtual learning. You learned the art of multitasking. This journey has also brought you some exceptional moments, some magical moments, amazing learning moments, and you have created memories that will be fondly remembered for many years to come. Students, four years ago, you stepped into high school and, and in this journey. You have learned a lot of lessons along the way. Today, each of you start a new journey in your lives where you will experience more challenges and learn yet more valuable lessons. I have good news for you. Each of you are fully equipped to face the challenges of college or work um, experiences that lie ahead because of your steadfast fast teachers. These men and women have tailored your education to fit your needs so that you could be successful to reach your new heights. Students, we are proud of you. While it's hard to say goodbye, we know that you will be successful in your next endeavor just like you were at Polytechnic High School. Seniors, as you move into the next chapter of your lives where you will achieve greater successes and even make more wonderful memories, take this with you. Don't let anyone or anything take away from your natural spirit of motivation and drive. Please don't stop pressing forward and don't stop working toward your goals. Like I said, we're proud of you, but most of all, we believe in you and we love you. At this time, by the authority vested in me, by the state of Texas, I hereby confer diplomas on these 270 members of the graduating class of 2020. Graduates, on behalf of the Polytechnic High School, we wish you and everything that you so richly deserve in the years ahead. We wish you the best. It has been an honor and a privilege watching you progress and succeed. Remember, never stop pressing forward, never stop pressing toward your goals and congratulations. Graduates, do your best, continue to succeed, and go make the world a better place. Go Parrots.